Hello everybody, welcome back to Technology Moment to this very, very interesting topic of the UDM Pro and how it can handle a dual one connection to the internet and how we can have more than one ISP in order for us to have redundancy in our internet connection for our enterprise. Let's remember that the UDM Pro is maybe by this time, by the time we are making this video, one of the most advanced gateways of Unify. We're also going to have a very nice workshop on how to hand off one internet connection to the other one. So this uh, handoff is actually completely transparent for the current users on your network. We're going to use this RJ45 SFP plus modules, but remember that you can also use SFP plus module for multi-fiber or mono mode uh, fiber optics. Uh, let's remember also that uh, even though we're not having very powerful internet connections, we are uh, having currently two ISPs uh, giving us internet in two technologies that differ um, highly, basically on speed. They are not very fast, but for the purpose of this video work just perfectly. As the idea is to show you exactly how you can do to have a redundant service of internet to your network so users will always have this service. Let's remember from our first videos from the UDM Pro uh, what these ports are for. We have three ports right here. Uh, remember that these two ports, even though they are SFP plus modules, these two behave differently. This one is for the local area network only for your downlink and this one is for the wide area network that is for your one connection. Basically, it is going to be for your primary internet connection as it can go as fast as 10 gigabit. And this one is for one gigabit ethernet connections that uh, depending on the modem and uh, internet connection technology that you are using, they are going to be very easy to use. And we're also going to see how the handoff from one connection to the other one is handled by the UDM Pro. For educational purposes, we're going to use this RJ45 SFP plus modules as it is very common to have this type of connection to use this other port for. Uh, remember that you can use in this port, uh, in the number 10 port, multi-mode fiber or mono-mode or single-mode fiber in order for you to have uh, any type of connection technology right here in port number 10. So let's uh, install this RJ45 SFP plus module. Um, Usually, it should just work out of the box. Normally, you would just connect this device, insert it into the slot, and it would come up to life immediately. However, that is not the case in the UDM Pro. Uh, I invite you to look at the end of this video, a couple bugs that we have found in the UDM Pro that uh, may save you a lot of time, especially if you're troubleshooting error messages in your LCD screen of the UDM Pro. After you connect your copper cable uh, to the UDM Pro, module SFP plus module you're going to see that as we saw in previous videos about how to manage RJ45 SFP plus modules in 10 gigabit um, routers and switches from Unify you have to go to the network controller you have to go to the port to the correspondent port that you are configuring in this case port number 10 up here at the right and you're gonna have to click right here you're gonna have to choose in the one section which one is the port that you're actually trying to configure right here, down here, one port, and you're going to choose configure interfaces. You're going to actually try to overwrite the configuration and choosing right here in the one number two, you're going to choose from auto negotiation, you're going to choose one gigabit per second full duplex. That means that you need to apply right here and uh, it should come up to life. Actually, it doesn't and it is not so quite simple. Um, we have had many troubles with this and after the first time we did this with a, not only with the UDM Pro but with a US 16XG, a very robust and powerful switch from Unify, we had to actually restart manually the switch. So what you're gonna wanna do is just go to the menu in your device right here, search for the restart button and restart your UDM. Right here we found one bug that you might find by the end of this video, but I'm going to give you a sneak peek right here. Booting took a lot of time. The connection came up just fine. The UDM gave us this error message that we have had in the past and when we try to obey what the instructions, whatever instructions the UDM give us, 
we lose connection to the UDM and we have to reset it completely. Good thing that in past opportunities, we've had our backups. However, even with the error message in the screen of the UDM Pro, the ISPs were successfully identified, as you can see right here in the screen. It even started making some uh, speed tests. We even went further into the interface and tried uh, successfully to configure, for example, the naming of the internet connections. You're going to have one primary internet connection and one secondary internet connection. Remember that the UDM Pro uses the failover mode for the backup internet connection. But we decided to go and get rid of this error message in front of the UDM Pro and we went to the advanced settings in the graphic interface connection. We chose restart and then we just waited as the LCD touchscreen went useless. Once again, this is not the first time that this error message has appeared to us. The first time it happened, we went to the recovery option that it gave us and we had to reset completely the UDM Pro and we were not able to reconfigure it. We had to go to an old backup. As you can see right here, once it restarts, it just works fine. Uh, the links came up uh, again. I mean, they had already come up uh, okay but we got rid of the error message. Okay, so which one is my primary internet connection? My primary internet connection is going to be, of course, the fastest one and the most reliable one. Uh, first, we need to identify which one is the one that your UDM Pro is detecting as your primary internet connection. Remember, UDM Pro uh, identifies two networks, but they work in failover mode. That means it is going to have a main internet connection, in this case, this ISP provider that I have right here. And it has another one that if I want to change the primary for the secondary, I need to disable first port 10, then assign it to port 9, and then re-enable port uh, 10 with the original uh, network that was in port 9. Very simple, you just apply it right here with no problem. Um, our UDM Pro didn't freeze and it worked just fine. As we can see right here, then we test without having to make any additional change and it worked just fine. You might ask, why didn't you just switch the cables? Yes, that is an option, but in case uh, for, for educational purposes, what we're doing right here is what if you could not just switch the ports? What if you had, for example, one in fiber and another one in RJ45? Um, once you finish that, you're going to want to uh, rename with a more friendly name each one of your internet connections. Once you have it and you apply the changes, you are so good to go. Now, your enterprise has dual internet connection, dual one, and you're going to be able to configure additional options that depending on your internet connection and your provider, you're going to be entitled to. For example, uh, having a fixed IP address is right here where you might want to configure it. Or if you want to configure a point-to-point -point protocol over Ethernet, right here is where you're going to be able to do just that. Uh, I recommend you to watch your, our other videos regarding these matters. And of course, our list uh, created for high-speed networks that we have just been updating the last few weeks. To finish today's uh, video, we're going to show you a couple bugs that we encountered when working with the Unified Dream Machine Pro in order for us to get Dual One working. These are the bugs that we found. First, when we inserted the, as the SFP Plus module that was supposed to work immediately without a negotiation, we found out that we had to do it manually. This is something very important as people think that their modules are broke or even the port is broke. After restarting the UDM, as you saw, uh, we had or we came up with this screen. It is not that you have to do actually anything. You just have to reboot your unified dream machine and it'll just work fine again. And finally, and not less important, when you are using these two ports, 9 and 10, as your one connections and you disconnect one of them, even though they hand off pretty good, actually you get like a one or two second handoff blackout you will see that your monitor, your throughput monitor, is not going to be showing you exactly all the information that is going through your uh, router, in this case the Unified Dream Machine Pro, once you disconnect uh, port number 10. Once you reconnect port number 10, it is going to be just working fine. 
but just for you to know in case you start trying to troubleshoot restarting your device and that is not the problem your internet might be working very very well but it is not showing you exactly what you need to see in the throughput monitor okay everyone thank you very much for watching this content we really hope this video gave you something to experiment with we appreciate your subscription your thumbs up to this video and see you next time